Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Insane RC Action. I'm here with you guys today. And uh, today we have a part, uh, or a part that I will be putting on my 2012 Traxxas Low Center Gravity Slash Platinum Edition. And uh, what part is that, you might ask? Well, uh, the part is, it is basically a extension door for a battery, or you know, a LiPo battery, whatever. Obviously, nickel metal hydrides won't be rating in this high of a milliamp hour battery, but... I currently will be using a 6400 milliamp hour battery in my Traxxas Slash. And, uh, you know, obviously the standard stock door will not cover. Well, it's too small anyways, no matter how, how you put it in there, it's way too small. For the, for a higher, for a battery, sorry, higher in milliamp hours than 5000. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is a pretty tough pack to get into for U.S. Postal Service. It's pretty tough. All right, guys. So we have our Traxxas part number, and again, since this is not the slash four x four. You know the original slash. Obviously, it's going to be low center of gravity because they discontinued all the high, you know, center of gravity high chassis models. Um, but again, this is part number. You all can see it there. Seven four two six X, meaning the aftermarket. X meaning aftermarket. Because again, it is the platinum, or you know, if it's the ultimate edition. So um, there you go. And see so what else do we get in the package? Um, let's see. Here. A customer invoice. I or I got ordered my parts or most of these parts off of AdvantageHobby.com. Uh, again, that is a van Advantage uh, AdvantageHobby.com, located in uh, Champaign or Champaign, Illinois. And uh, just a little billing invoice, you know, whatever return card. Don't really need this stuff. Go ahead and couple that up and toss it aside. And uh, is there any no, there's nothing else in the package, so we can. Go ahead and toss that aside too. And uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and open our Traxxas um, part number 7426X battery extension door up and we'll show you how to install it on the Slash. So let's go ahead and open this up. Standard Traxxas uh, packaging, you know, the little the label, cardboard paper type of label. Pretty decent plastic, so you don't lose many of your parts. Okay, so what it comes with is let's see, this is a 20 millimeter to a 29 millimeter. Uh, basically, I guess you could say it's your it's your kind of your Traxxas style uh, battery door. And now, if you order the one, now obviously it's it's this kind of the same shape. If y'all can see it there, as the uh, original slash 4x4 kind of door. It's the as the skinnier uh, post going to the back. Um, but again, this is the extension door for only the Platinum or the Ultimate Edition, not the Traxxas uh, four, slash 4x4. Four four. It's not, it's, yeah, it doesn't work with the 4x4, four four, just the Platinum, and it just works for the Ultimate. ultimate. Because you can see, I don't have the rest of the parts for the uh, Platinum 4x4, four four, but for the 4x4, four four, this is what the battery extension door looks like. It's a 20, 29 still, but as you can see, it's a bit wider, longer. The, uh, the, actually, uh, the forks are actually closer together. And you have the hole through the uh, center, like you have a hole through the actual uh, the locking the locking mechanism for lo for like a deadbolt. And again, this will go in the center of your car if you are using a Traxxas slash just the four x four. But we're not going to be using that today. We're going to have the upgraded slash platinum edition, and so we'll be using this door. So let's go ahead and uh, open up the rest of the parts. So after the battery door, uh, you get your see you get your bolt clip. And if this kind of, you can see here, this goes in the car just like this, and your door will uh, lock into it like that, or if you can see it better, like that, in there. 
And again, the Traxxas uh, 4x4 does not have this. That's why it's different. You actually have a, uh, a it's, it's a metal, uh, I guess you could call it, but it's a metal pin, it's a metal piece that runs through the center of the, uh, the centering fork, and it's pinned in, so it's a bit different. And the last thing you would get is the actual uh, battery, I guess you could say fork insert, and um, again, this is made for the Traxxas Platinum, slash Platinum, or Ultimate Editions. And now, the only thing that, you, that it does not come with is the actual screws for this. You'll have to use these screws that originally came on your car. So, you know, when you're taking it out, don't lose those because you will need those to insert this. I guess if you happen to lose them, you can always buy more, but it's just kind of a pain, so don't lose your screws. Now, let's install these three pieces on the uh, Slash uh, Low Center Gravity uh, Platinum Edition, and we'll see how it goes from there. Alright everyone, so we have our Traxxas Slash 2012 Low Center Gravity, you know, a Gravity Edition, or Platinum Edition, however you want to call it. And first thing that you're actually going to want to do to the actual uh, model is flip the car over, make sure it's somewhat, you know, uh, stable, so it's not going not gonna to go anywhere. And then second thing that you want to do is grab your Allen wrench, and I'm using actually a part tool like I was in my last video. But... Tracks stay if you get you know a kit or or ready to run as long as you don't buy it off eBay or you know even if even if you buy it on eBay they might have the uh, they might include the uh, all the tools with it or the tools that you least need it just depends who the dealer is but um, for this video you know all you need is an Allen wrench for this basically unscrew the one two and three and four so the four uh, screws that actually hold in the original uh, fork plate or fork insert plate, whatever you want to call it. And that hold in the fork adapter, or I don't know what, what you would call it, at least the, uh, just the fork hold down or whatever, you know, the part that the fork locks into, the fork lock. And pretty much, when you're going to unscrew this, kind of pay attention to where they are. Now, these two, if you can see, are going to be the fork lock, and these two are going to be the actual fork insert, or fork uh, pallet. So let's go ahead and unscrew uh, one set of these. Alright, everyone. So now that we've actually taken out the first two screws, I know you can't see it right now, but basically what I did was I took out the old, uh, this battery, uh, door clip. It's pretty dirty up as you can see, so you can definitely tell it's the old one. And right now, you know, we're not going to install the new one just yet. Take, go ahead and take that out. And now what you want to do is, you do the same thing that you did to the other screws. It's pretty much, uh, whoops, unscrewed this one and that one. And you have to go ahead and take the actual uh, battery clip tower, clip whatever, you know, the battery insert thing, that you, you know, the door that you, like, just like you took out the, uh, the battery clip. So let's go ahead and do that. And this time I'll actually show you what it looks like. It's, you know, it's just me unscrewing the screws. But oh well, we'll show it. And be careful guys, you don't want to strip these screws because basically if you strip them, then you're never going to get it out unless, I mean, honestly it's hard to get these out because there's no way to access it if you strip it. So, I would advise you to go slow and make sure that there's no, or pretty much no dirt or dust or grime stuck in these screws. I, as you can see, I had, I had a little bit of water in there from when I was driving it today, but this one seems to be good. <laughs> Just give it a little blow and make sure that there's at least no dirt and grime in there so you have a good clean seal and just don't strip them. So now onto the second screw. Just kind of head hand thread it out, and voila! There we go. All right, now we can go ahead and flip our car over, and just like we took out the old uh, battery door clip, we can take we can take out the old battery door, uh, you know, peg insert. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, everyone. So basically, we took out our own uh, battery fork prong, and uh, basically now what you want to do is kind of clean out any dirt or dust and grime. I mean, you know, obviously there's a lot, there's quite a bit there, but I'm not going to exactly clean it out right now. You just at least want to make sure there's nothing in the screw hole pass and the insert paths. 
So you get a nice good seal, and when you screw it back in, there's, there's nothing, you know, clamped in between there, and you get a, and the screw doesn't strip when you, you know, uh, rotate it in the uh, socket. So take your new, uh, oh, take your new battery uh, door fork prong insert or whatever you, you know, whatever you want to call it. Insert it in, same spot as you had last time, and again, it might be a bit of a tight fit, so it's kind of very windy, and boom, there we go. Uh, that's popped in there, and uh, you can definitely see that's much taller than just the single, or the original one. There's the original one, if I can kind of pop it in there, well, maybe not exactly, but you can see from the side view kind of how uh, tall it is, since this one only has a single, uh, single pair of holes, this one has a double pair of holes. So, now what you want to do is, hold this down, and I'm not going to show it on camera, sorry for that, it's just kind of uh, hard to show. Um, so, sorry, hold this down, and then flip it over on its side, and on two wheels, facing flat on the ground. And pretty much, just screw back in your screws. And, um, yeah. So, now, on this uh, car, to, uh, the, actually, on this car, yeah, the front screws are actually a bit shorter than the back ones, so make sure to tell you don't get these mixed up. As you can see, well, maybe barely see, let me hold it where you can kind of see it. There is a front screw, or oh, sorry, there is a back screw. This is the back one, it's a bit longer. And then if I can kind of compare it, there's the front one. Obviously, it's a, uh, see if you can see it there, it's maybe, I'd say, half, maybe cut half a centimeter, or almost a fourth of a centimeter too short, maybe. Maybe a bit more than that, so I'm not sure exactly, exactly the uh, threads or dimensions of these screws, but just don't get them mixed up. Alright, so let's do what I said. Turn it over on the side, hold this in, and screw the uh, screw back in, and we'll uh, see you when we're done with it. So, let's go ahead and get to it. Hey guys, it's pretty much it to install the Traxxas Slash Battery Extension Door. And again, I repeat, this is not, not for the Slash uh, 4x4, but it is for the uh, Platinum and uh, Ultimate Editions. And there's only one last thing to do. Take your battery door and your battery, which I don't have one, well, if you did, you would plug it up and pop one side in and lock it in. And there you go. That's pretty much it. You're done. Um, so, like I always say, thanks guys for watching this episode of Insane RC Action, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.